Bella. There you go. How you doing, girl? Bella. Good girl. Bella. No, no jumping. You'll be good. So you can see that spot on her nose is trying to heal, but she keeps on uh, banging it up. She keeps on bumping into stuff with it. You gotta let that heal. You gotta stop bumping into stuff. So we're just giving some some little shrimp here as treats right now. Bella. Oof, good girl. And how are we doing? Big Mac. Look at the size of him. By the way, I wear a size 13 boot. And look at my boot next to his head. Idea size right there. Well, I don't want to get too close because obviously he'll rip my leg off, but kind of cool to show his size a little bit. He's 10 foot two. Ooh, there you go. Hi, big girl. Hi, big girl. How you doing, huh? She's really cute. Like, she's a pretty cute alligator. She's goofy looking. He's a good looking gator. Big boy. That big boy. Hey. Easy. Easy. Just trying to grab some more shrimp out of the bag. Big Mac. You still got shrimp in your mouth. You didn't even eat the ones you got. Big Mac. There. <laughs> didn't even eat them. They're just in his mouth. Bella. Oh, hi. Look at that tongue. That's your tongue right there, by the way. You can see right there. So you can see where it is attached. So you can see the separation there. So they do have a tongue. It is attached all the way through. It's a common myth. People think they don't have tongues. They do. It's just attached all the way through so they cannot stick it out like you can. It's probably so they can't bite it off, I would imagine. <laughs> but they do have it, and it is a... Uh, Actually pretty strong, muscular. You'll see them often using it to manipulate the food in their mouth, which is usually hard to see, but if you get the view of them underwater, like when I'm swimming with them and I can see them from underneath and they go to chew on something, you can really see them using their tongue to manipulate the food. All right, so we've got some thymine pills that we're gonna stick into some chicken here. Oh, this stuff is so slimy. Jam that in there nice and deep. So we're gonna give this to Dino. Down there. Two and one. Uh, I'm just gonna do. He's gonna. I'm gonna try to feed him this whole pack, so it should work out fine. Now, as I'm doing this, um, this reminds me that on another gator that we had uh, at one of the parks I worked at years ago, he had some sort of issue going on. I don't think we ever figured out exactly what was wrong with him, but either way, we had to put um, antibiotics into chicken just like this and he could taste it from inside there, no problem. And when people ask like, oh, they're swollen whole, do they even have a sense of taste? I'm like, absolutely. He could taste that and he would spit out anything that had a pill in deep inside of it and he would be able to know. So it's pretty crazy. Did you just swallow it? It's pretty good, right? I think you did swallow it. I think you swallowed it underwater. I watched it get like sucked down. <laughs>
You want to explain the thymine? Yeah, so the thymine is just to prevent the reuptake of lead. So obviously he has the lead sinker still inside of him. So this is just going to prevent it from like continuing to leak out. It's not going to do anything about the lead already in his system. That's what the chelation therapy is for. This prevents him from getting more. Awesome. And he's been getting, uh, every time the vet comes, he gets the thymine injections. But now that he's eating, we're just putting the uh, vitamins into his food. Two a day. Good stuff. Checking on the gator we got in last night. So he's underwater in there. Can't see anything, but he's in there. And then here is Gaston hanging out right over there. Hi, buddy. Oh, easy, 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 Pebbles. Why, why are you so aggressive, huh? You'd be nice. You'd be a nice boy. Quit trying to bite me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> easy. Hey, you'd be nice. You'd be nice. Be a nice boy. <gasps> you hear that? That snap? They almost got me. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. You'd be nice. Oh, you'd be nice boy. Quit trying to bite me. You'd be nice boy. Yeah. Lay down. Let me pet you. Oh, let me pet you. Look at him. <laughs> Easy. Easy. I got my finger that time. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, there's a good emo. Be nice, boy. Why don't you lay down? Be nice. Let me pet you. Tame the savage beast. Oh, there we go. He's a good boy. See, isn't this better? Be nice and be pet. Yeah. Don't hiss at me. It's so much better than trying to bite me and kick me. Yeah, it's a lot better to be nice. That's nice. Yeah, this is so much better. Yeah. Oh, look at him lay down. There we go. There's a good emu. He's also spraying him with a hose, so he's all wet. Look at those big feathers. Look at his big boy. You'd be nice, huh? You'd be a nice boy. Good. Oh, these good pigs. Oh, Daisy, the best pig. You said Daisy. Oh, girl. You just drop half your food, Petunia. What are you doing, Kit Kat? What are you doing, Kit Kat? Don't bite me.
Guys, I am just pouring sweat. It is so humid out here today. So if you see what looks like raindrops going past the, the screen, that is sweat coming off my forehead. Today is definitely going to be a headband kind of day. Oh, Julie. You said Julie. Little girl. Here's our little piggies. Oh, hi, Wilbur. Hi, little Wilbur. Hi, Amy. Hi, Molly. And Puddles. Time to feed these crazy quaddies. So they have grapes, cantaloupe, freeze-dried raw chicken, uh, dried fig, raisins, blueberries, banana, cashew, almond, strawberry, and I think that was everything. They got a good variety. Oh, watch your tail. Patagonia and Mara. There you go, guys. They got a cute little fruit pie right there. So hopefully they enjoy that. You know, so here the construction going on next door. So while well, right through the bushes there, that's for the um, uh, winter house for the crocodile monitor. Hey, Timothy. Hi, buddy. They're so cute. Oh, these crazy foxes. Look, they're playing though. It's actually really cute. You! What are you doing, Hazel? What are you doing, Hazel? You can't go any higher. <laughs> Hazel! Uh. Hazel! God. Hazel! Come here! God. Good girl. Here, you can have that. There you go. Oh, what are you two doing? There's Shippo up there eating. Kira. There you go. Kira. Good girl. Kira. Good girl. Here's little dude, the African crested porcupine. What are you eating? I wish I could pull the bull out of the way and see it, but then he will attack me. He gets very food defensive. Oh, we got a banana. Look at him. He's so cute. Hi, Jelly Bean. Got your blueberries. We got blueberry, banana, grape, fig, and sweet potato. You a happy bird? Yeah. You a happy uh, rainbow knife chicken?
Don't look at me. Looking at me like he wants to stab. You stabby boy. You being a stabby boy. You know. There's Petrie down there. Here's Zazu. Here's Azula. Hello. Here's Olaf. Hi, Olaf. Here's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. And Cupid back there. There's all the little prairie dogs. Ooh, we got some dried banana. Got a blueberry. Got the cute little fruit pie. Poppy's eating. What do you got, Harf? Hmm? What are you eating, Harf? Looks like one of his rodent block pellets. So, as cute as these guys are, I feel like it's about time I do my regular PSA. They do not make good pets, you know? I gotta say this every uh, month or so, just to remind people, as cute and adorable as they are, they do not make good pets. Um, they are social animals, so you need multiple ones. Having just one by itself is uh, not fun for the prairie dog. As you can see, they're very social animals, and you'll see when, when we check in on them throughout the day, they're always cuddling together, sitting together. So they have a complex social structure. And on that note, it can be very difficult to introduce new prairie dogs to existing ones. So although they need social interaction, sometimes you put a new one into a group or just another one together, they kill and eat each other. They will cannibalize. It's pretty wild. So introducing new prairie dogs to existing ones can be very difficult and challenging. We've also had a very difficult time uh, building their enclosure. So they have an outdoor enclosure. Um, this is an eight foot wide cattle trough sunk in the ground. Can't even see the edge of it down there. And then wired up on the sides. Uh, so this is a custom made job that we did. So that eight foot cattle trough in the ground gives them about three feet of digging space. At first we just filled it with dirt. We thought that would work nope it did not and even though i put holes in the bottom to drain out the trough it was still holding too much moisture it wasn't like holding water just moisture enough that it was leading to uh fungal issues with the prairie dogs since where they come from is very dry they can't handle that much moisture and even outdoors in florida just the humidity alone is a bit much for them uh but either way so we had to dig this whole thing out again and then we had to uh put a whole layer of rocks on the bottom and uh, then the dirt, and then we had to mix the dirt with sand, and so they need a special composition of dirt to be able to properly make their burrows so they don't collapse and kill them, because that can happen too. Uh, it's just been very complicated, and as cute as they are, you know, I just really like to emphasize that. And then sadly, almost all the prairie dogs in United States captivity are wild caught. They are very often sucked out of the ground in areas where they are unwanted as nuisance animals. And they use like a giant, like basically like a giant vacuum cleaner. And they suck them out of the ground. And a lot of them get killed in that process. Concussions, smashed and everything, getting sucked out of a pipe. It's really horrible. And the ones that live through that, they then sell into the pet trade, which is better than dying. But either way, it's still just really sad situation for prairie dogs all the way around but again you know i don't advocate for any of the animals that we have as pets except for the dog <laughs> and that's only if you're responsible even then you know having a dog is a big responsibility oh and look at this as we're over here talking there is a dung beetle trying to well it's pushing a rock right now but right next to it is poop so it was pushing the poop away i think got confused but that's a jeweled dung beetle or scarab there it goes back to the poop so he is stealing away, Oop, he's stealing away some prairie dog poop. Look at him, look at him go. Just gave fresh food and water for all the budgies and cockatiels. Hi Maverick. Hi Tango. They're so stinking cute. So they get greens, veggies, fruit, and their seeds. Nice little variety. You moving in? All right, so we just drove about an hour away to check out this rock place to get uh, some of these for the turtle pond that we're building. And you guys saw we got the liner in, got to fill it up with water. So what we're thinking about doing is getting these large rocks here and then putting that on the edge of the liner to try to well cover up the liner so it's not visible and then so basically edge that whole thing and then we have the mound spot for the waterfall maybe use these same rocks to uh, make a little waterfall area too 
So we're getting two tons of rocks. <laughs> Apparently this is enough. A ton. Yeah. Is what she just about said. About a ton. And we told her the size of the pond and she was saying that one ton should be enough to cover that whole pond. And I'm looking at this and I just don't see it. So we're gonna get two just in case and uh, I mean, cause we need to account for the waterfall too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get two of these and. Yep. What do you think? This one and this one or this one and this one? Oh, these two. These two? Okay, yeah. I'll take a picture for her. There you go, Asami. trying to hide it from me just straight skunk butt why don't you let me see hmm i gave it to you you stretching jet you stretching? You eat your food? Move her back away. Mm -hmm. It's cute, you can see a Sami back there too. It's raining, Olaf. Ready to come inside? Yeah? You don't like the rain, do you? Nope. Nope, he does not. Oh, it's okay. That's okay. Well, that'll wrap up the video. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.